Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Chapter 7 Creating value for our target customer. <coughs> customer driven marketing strategy. Creating value for our target customer. Customer driven marketing strategy. Creating value for target customer. <coughs> Four secrets. Four secrets in a marketing process. It's a marketing secret. Market segmentation, how to divide the market into smaller segments. Market targeting, how to select the right segment to go after. Differentiation, how to offer different market offering for different segments you target. And the fine name, how to put your market offering in a customer mind, I mean positioning. Market segmentation, dividing a market into smaller segments, <clears throat> targeting, selecting the segments, no selecting the segment or segments to enter, to go after. Differentiation, I mean differentiate the market offering to create superior customer value and the final positioning the market offering in the minds of target customer. This is a fourth secret of, mar of creating value for our target customer. Market segmentation, why we divide the market <clears throat> into smaller segments? Because our market is a complex, large, heterogeneous market. We should divide our market into smaller segments. And what's targeting? Market targeting means evaluating and selecting a right segment to go after. What we evaluate? We evaluate a segment attractiveness. We evaluate a segment attractiveness in order to select a right segment to go after. What's differentiation? Differentiation means actually differentiating the firm's market offering to create customer superior customer value and the finally what's positioning positioning consists of arranging for a market offering to occupy a key distinctive and desirable place relative to competing products in the minds of your target customer why we divide the market into smaller segments we divide the market in, into smaller segments in order to select a right segment to go after who can target a whole market. We cannot offer one market offering uh, for the whole market, so, uh, so we should divide the market into smaller uh, segments in order to select the right segment to go after. This is the major segmentation variables for customer markets. Divided into four groups, geographic basis, a demographic segmentation basis, psychographic segmentation basis, and behavior base. Geographical base means dividing a market into or upon a, a geographical base, regions, states, countries, cities, whatever. And demographic base, it means dividing a market into smaller segments based on age, life cycle, gender, income, occupation, education, religion, whatever. And the psychological base, it means that we can divide the market based on a social class, lifestyle, personality. And the final behavior base, it means that we should or we can divide the market into smaller segments based on, based on occasions, benefits, user states, uh, or usage rate for states. It's uh, four groups or four factors we can use to divide our consumer markets. <clears throat> Segmenting consumer markets, geographical geographic segmentation divide a uh, divide the market into different geographical units 
such as nation, regions, or states, or, or countries, and cities, whatever. Demographic base, it means divide the market into groups based on a variable such as uh, age, gender, family size, family life cycle, whatever. Is gender segmentation inc and third psychographic base or psychographic segmentation divide the buyers into different groups based on the social class, lifestyle, or personality traits. And finally, we can divide our customer uh, into smaller segments based on a behavior segmentation or behavior base, divide buyers into group based on their knowledge, attitudes, uses, or responses to uh, products like uh, occasions, benefits, United States, whatever. Okay, occasions, benefits, so it's user states, usage rate, and USA. Uh, can we use a single base to divide the market into smaller segment? For sure not. We cannot, we cannot use a single base. We should use a multiple segmentation basis. Why we should use a market segmentation, a multiple segmentation basis? Because I want to see my segment here. I want to see my segment here. Here to what? Here to uh construct or marketing mix for it it's give to construct marketing mix for it so i should use more than one single base in order to see our our customer well see our customer in order to construct or preparing an integrated marketing plan and program. what are the requirements or effective segmentation our basis should be measurable basis. We can measure it. And our segment should be accessible. I can access, I can reach, reach my segment, segment. Substantial, I mean large enough. Differentiatable, I mean when we divide the market into smaller segments, it's a different segments. And the finally, should be take action based on a segmentation. Measurable, accessible, substantial, differentiatable, and actionable. Step two, in creating value for our target customer, it's target, targeting. Target market consists of a set of buyers who share a common needs or characteristics that the company decide to serve. This is a target market. This is a target market. It's a group of customers who share a common need we decide to go after. So we should first evaluate the market segments in order to select the right segment. And then we should decide how to serve them. I mean our value proposition. So I mean choosing. Yep, uh, it means that we should start with evaluating. And second, we should select the right segment to go after. Or we should select a targeting strategy. Evaluating market segment, we should evaluate a segment attractiveness. Considering the factors that affect or influence our evaluation process like a segment size, segment growth rate, and the structure attractiveness, and also company resources and, resor uh, and objectives. We should consider these factors uh, to select the right segment to go after. What it means? It means that the largest or fast growing uh, segments are not always the most attractive ones for every company. Maybe the uh, maybe our segment it's uh, it's large enough with a low purchasing power, or it's fast growing and weak structure. So we should consider our structure factors, and we should count how many how many competitors 
targeting the same segment and how much they are strong. So we should consider many factors in order to evaluate our segment attractiveness, like a product substitute and many other factors. And then we should select uh, a market segment. Actually, we have three targeting strategy. <clears throat> the first strategy to target the whole market with one market offering, it's undifferentiated targeting strategy. It means of mass marketing or total marketing or universal approach. This strategy focuses on a common needs rather than what's different using an undifferentiated marketing or mass marketing strategy, a firm might, might decide to ignore market segment differences and to target the whole market with one market offering. The second strategy we can choose, it's a differentiated marketing strategy. It means target several different market segments and the designs separate and design separate offers for each segment. The goal of differentiated targeting strategy is to achieve a higher sales and stronger position and to customize different market offering for different segments. And finally, the last targeting strategy, it's a concentrated marketing strategy. Target a small share of a large market, maybe for a limited resources or a knowledge of a market or more efficiency and effectiveness. Concentrate means selecting a few or a limited number of segments to target. How to choose a right uh, or target market? We should consider uh, our company resources. A product variability, can I offer different market? Can I differentiate my market offering? A product life cycle stage. Maybe I introduce a, a one market offering and wait. Wait until uh, this offer reach uh, a glass stage in a product life cycle. Uh, and market variability, our, our customers should, should know and should understand and should perceive what I'm doing for them, How, why I'm differentiate our, our market offering, we differentiate it for customer, so our customers should know the differences between our market offerings. And finally, we should consider a competitor's marketing strategies. <laughs> The third and the last step in creating value for our target customer is differentiation and position. Beyond deciding which segment of a market it will target, the company must decide on a value proposition. What's value proposition, my students? How a company will create differentiated value for target segments and what position it wants to occupy in those segments, differentiate and position our target offer, our target customer, how to differentiate our market offering and how to occupy a right position in a customer mind. We can differentiate and position our market offering based on a five factor. Our customer compare to arrange many market offering, they compare benefits against benefits. If it equal, he choose a lower price and put it in a higher position. And then if he found a two market offering that much close or the, that much equal in the benefits and the prices, he should use uh, 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 unmeasurable factors, perception, impression, and feelings. Choosing and differentiation 
Dif choosing a differentiation and the positioning strategy, we should first identify a set of possible competitive advantage to be the position. Two, choosing the right competitive advantage. Three, select an overall positioning strategy and finally communicating and delivering the chosen position to the market. Step one, we, we should identify uh, both a uh, possible competitive advantage. What's competitive advantage, my student? Competitive advantage, it's an advantage over competitors gained by offering a consumer greater value either through lower prices or by providing more benefits that justify a higher price. But we shouldn't focus on the competitive advantage. We should select a few at competitive advantage, a very limited number of a competitive advantage that much important and significantly influencing our customer purchasing decision. I should choose the right competitive advantage. Suppose the company. Hmm, uh, have many, many uh, competitive advantage, I should select or I should differentiate, I should select differences to promote as a, a right competitive advantage should be important, distinctive, superior and communicable and many other factors. It means that we should we shouldn't use all our competitive advantage. Or more, I should select significant factors. <clears throat> Choosing the right competitive advantage means that we should consider that factor is important, distinctive, superior, communicable, primitive. Okay. Step three. Selecting an overall positioning strategy or a value proposition. It's a positioning strategy. One dimension refer to benefits that will we offer to our customer, and the other dimension it's prices that we ask our customer to pay. So we have many positions. When I offer my customer more, more, more benefits for more price, it's more for more positioning. And if I offer my customer more benefits for the same competitive prices, it's more for the same. And if I offer my customers more benefits and take a less price, it's more for less. And if I offered my customer the same competitive benefits and taking and, and, and asking for a less price, it's the same for less. And if I offer my customer less benefits for much less price, it's less for much less. More for more, more for the same, same for less, less for much less, more for less. And finally, I should communicate uh, and deliver my chosen position to our customer. Once it has been chosen a position, the company must take strong steps to deliver and to communicate the desired position to its target customer. This is a four secrets. This is a four secrets in creating value for our customer. Thank you, my student. Wish you always the best.